Hello, Mark Crossfield here. We've got Mizuno's 2013 Iron Range here today. So from JPX 800 HD all the way down to MP69s, so down to their bladed, with some 825 Pros and normal and MP64s in there in between. So let's give these irons a hit. Uh, another one of those interactive videos. So if you're watching this on a on a computer, hit the annotations after the intro, and you know, I can talk about the club that you direct me to. If you're watching this on a mobile device, it might not make as much sense. There'll be a few funny pauses, but just imagine choosing any of these images down the right here, uh, which would help you see which club you want me to talk about by simply pressing on them. Let's get stuck in. So another one of those interactive videos, you see all the icons down here on the right, just click on the one you want me to talk about, the one you might be interested in, and I'll hit a few shots and tell you what this club might do for your golf game. JPX 800 HD, okay, so the HD has the thickest sole from the whole range of JPX and Mizuno irons, it's got the thickest bottom line on this one which will allow if I hit this club for quite impressive launch it does help me if I want to hit the ball as high as possible the HD for me makes me feel like I can get the ball into orbit if I wanted to I can keep it down also but it does feel like I'm gonna launch it so if you're looking for a little bit of help with some launch but you want to stay JPX or you want to stay Mizuno based, this one's going to do it for you, the 800 HD. Semi-classic, you do see a bit of the back of the club out the back of it because the sole is so thick and the top line is chunky. It's built for people who want help, higher handicappers as a rule, but you don't have to be a high handicapper to want a bit of help. You could be a low handicapper who hits the ball a bit low and the HD 800 would be one to think about. JPX 800 HD, fixed sole. High launching, quite chunky in its head design, going to help you get the ball up in the air quickly. Choose away, guys. Okay, you want the H4. So the H4 iron set, this is for the US customers only, as I understand it, not available in Europe. I've got the 6 iron here in the H4. I like the H4 set. This is a six iron, very classic as I look down at it. Feel off the face is nice. You know, it feels much softer because you have got that forged on this one, where there are other ones you don't. This is a nice forged iron. Um, and the long irons, which I use, I use the four iron and the three iron in this set, are just so easy to hit because they get thicker and thicker and thicker as they go up and then narrower as they come down. This is a six iron, so it's almost a a bridging gap between the really thick ones and the lower ones but only the US viewers I think can actually access the full set of the H4 irons. I'm a big fan of H4 if you want a bit of help but you want still classic looks with some nice forging H4 would be hard to beat. Which one next? JPX 825, okay, JPX 825, this is a cast club, it's quite strong in its loss, it's hot metal face, it's the JPX design, it's built for distance and power, it's a springy, it's the kind of springiest face club they produce, Mizuno. Putting it down by the ball you get nice chromed effect, medium top line, you don't see the sole at the bottom because the sole is medium thickness so you're going to get a little bit of help with heel toe weighting on this one but you're not getting the hid most hideous looking game improvement club because some of them out there can be very chunky off the face i mean it just feels so clippy really fires off the face big sound feels like getting good distance and often when i've tested this club against other ones it is one of the most strongest signs out there if i get someone who just wants distance 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 this one is often one that will do it for them. Got to watch your locks, they're cranked around a bit. But the face is responsive. So the JPX 825, any bracket of player can use this. You know, you could even have a couple of long irons in this and then go down to a nicer looking one, some of the MP range in your short irons. But the 825 range really can cross from 
single figures up to high handicappers. It's one of my preferred all-round golf clubs. 825 JPX, I do love that one. Which one next? JPX 825. Now, the 825 for me is one of the best looking kind of combo irons. So a good player from a tour player uses these irons. So one of their staff, tour staff uses these, if not more than one. Um, up to a 20 handicapper and above could use these. You've got to have some ability to strike the ball. You've got a forged head, medium to thin top line, nice medium to thinner sole, bit of weight in the heel and the toe. Um, but it looks fantastic down by the ball. Next to no offset, really classic looks. And it's a lovely launch. Not too high, but certainly not too low. It does offer that little bit of help. It's a gorgeous feel off the face, so you really start getting into the softer feelings when you get down into 825. strongly considered using this club I use the 64s but I have really I do like the look and the feel of the 825 Pro this will be a real winner really crosses low handicappers up the high with middle players as well you get classic looks nice feel but you also get some friendliness in the back as well do love the 825 Pro from Mizuno MP64, so the club I use, so yes I love these, you get very thin top line, let the no offset, lovely chrome finish, uh, forged head, real MP classicness in these irons, um, and I actually stop at the four iron, uh, sorry at the five iron and have the four and the three in the H4, I don't carry these through because they're slightly too hard for me to get the desired launch in every shot in the longer irons. Well, that's the beauty with these clubs these days is you can hybrid them about a bit. You can chop them up a bit. You don't just have to go free to pitch and wedge, which is where your custom fitter comes in. Um, MP64, for me, it's about tradition. What I'm used to looking at, company I trust and have done all my life with my golf clubs, always had Mizunos at some point, if not most of the points of my life. You get traditional looks, which I like, lovely feel. Good distance control with these. Lovely soft feel off the forge face. And a classic look, which just goes into everything I want to feel when I'm on the golf course. Looking good, feeling good. MP64, lovely true launch. Little bit of help, because you do get the muscle in the back. Do love MP64. Again, it can cross over this club, maybe not up to the highest peak of handicaps, but again, it's down to how you strike. Certainly your good players, I mean Luke Donald's using these, so tall players up to 15 handicappers, easily looking at this one. Anyone higher that, you've got to be watching how you strike the ball to really enjoy these. But MP64, love them. Fifty-nine. Okay. MP59. This one's still in the range. It's got the titanium insert at the back. Really for performance on this one, I don't feel much difference when I've tested these or see much difference. Feels not the right word. I don't see much difference between the 64 and the 59. So if you're considering the 64, then you could be considering the 59. They're very similar for me on the data. So launch, spins, distance, it's very similar. Where you feel the difference is in the sound and the feel off the face with this titanium muscle in the back. It does give it a slightly louder, tingy, clippy sound. Makes it feel like the club is going further, even though the data shows for me it doesn't go any further. It really is a feel-based decision for me from 59 to 64, which one I go for. The shape is similar, slightly different in the 59. Arguably looks a little bit thinner on top, but not much in it. So 59, great iron. A lot of money, they're certainly not cheap. Um, they are one of the more expensive because of the obviously the titanium insert and what have you, but it's a very, very popular iron, this one. And it goes to give that unique feeling of slightly clippier sound, but then still quite soft off the face. So 59, definitely check it out in your fits. So where are we going next? 
MP69. So, here we go. Mizuno MP69 got to be one of the most desirable golf clubs in golf. Makes no offset. The thinnest top line and bottom sole. True blade. Literally nothing on the back, just a shiver of help. Or sliver of how I should say it's absolutely gorgeous in looks. Hitting the ball again for me, stats with this club over the 64s. It's so marginal the difference in performance I get between this and the 64s, but I like the feel knowing there's that little bit more help down there, just to give it an extra percent out of every shot miss hit or good hits that the 64 gives over the uh, 69 so 69 really is your true blade lovers you've got to be decent striker got to want classic looks and you've got to know what you're buying into with these you know these are really accomplished skilled players irons mp69 true blade lovely gorgeous but you've got to be in it pretty near the middle to get the most out of these clubs mp69 from mizuno Thanks for watching guys, hope that helps. The whole range there, just click around on the annotations and you can direct us around uh, if you're done. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're watching this on a mobile device, you would have seen some strange pauses, but that's because you weren't able to click on the annotations and direct me, so you just had to watch the video play throughout anyone else who clicked around on the annotations. Hope that helped. You were directing me to choose which club you wanted me to talk about. I hope there's a bit of information there to show you the range together of what they could or couldn't do for your golf. See you all soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel, also thumbs up the video, post comments, love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social, the more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well, just follow the links, all in the description. Come and join the show, get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.